you, you say that you're not addicted, but you're not not addicted. What, what, what do you mean? Like, I wouldn't do them off stream, but when I do them on my stream, I do enjoy it. Like, it is, it does give you a rush. You probably feel like you're coming into a stacked deck here because I've been criticizing the lottery. Why are you a proponent of the lottery? Well, you know, I would consider myself more of a lottery insider having worked for the lottery. And so I've seen just countless stories where the lottery has been good for some people. It's changed people's lives. There are a lot of winners. What a lot of people don't realize is that there is a lot of diversity to the lottery. I've seen people win who were very wealthy. I've seen people win who were poor. But the majority of the people that I saw who won after interviewing hundreds of lottery winners are right there in the middle. There are people who understand that when they bought a ticket, it was surely for entertainment. It was surely just luck. They knew it was chance, you know, and they just happened to have been in the right place at the right time. And I can tell you in my particular state, the lottery was specifically uh, started to fund education in my state, which has been a wonderful thing. And thanks to the lottery, we've been able to send millions of students to Georgia colleges who are absolutely free with a scholarship. And I think that's a great thing because requiring students to maintain a specific GPA fuels academic excellence. And that's one of the things that doesn't get promoted enough. Lottery is gambling. And the fact that you then take that money that they might could have ill afford to spend on that and go do some good with it at a college doesn't uh, excuse the fact that these people were sucked into this uh, and, and it's all done with a psychological science that's not apparent. There aren't disclaimers. People aren't warned adequately that this can that their chances are practically zero and they're throwing their money away. Don't you have concerns about that? I, I know that people are smart enough to decide what they need to do with their own discretionary dollar and I think and their disposable income. I think that most people are well aware that what they what they're doing when they buy a lottery ticket is that they're gambling. They're very well aware of that. And I think it's their choice to make. There are so many people dying, taking their lives. I know them. I know of someone that's died scratching a ticket. Is this gonna take my life? Because I've squandered everything, everything. So what do I do when I have nothing else then? Are you gonna pay for me to go to school so I can get a better career with that lottery money? Maybe teach me some psychology so I can train my brain not to do this anymore. But it's not fair because there's no help. They have help for opioid addiction. They have help for crack addiction. They have help for meth. They have help for all these different diseases because nobody's looking. We're looking at the symptoms and not the fact that this is a disease. Well, and fortunately, um, and if it happens to you, it's 100%. Uh, but fortunately, this has hit you in a really bad way, which is the extreme. And Farquita, I, I will acknowledge that. Most people don't get in this situation. They, they buy a ticket a couple times a week and it gives them the right to fantasize, and they move on. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.